rock star cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I watch the ripples change in size, but never leave the stream of warm impermanence. So the days flow through my eyes, but still the days seem the same, just the same, quite the same. Changes. David Bowie. Rockstar Cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I think I'm finally a real writer now. Somebody hates me for something I wrote. Today, a guy about my age came up to me with rage in his face. What gives you the right to give my little girl this book? I'm a Christian, and I don't appreciate what you wrote. Right now, I've got what they call righteous anger, and I'm going to the school board. I quit the next day. Actual resignation letter, October 8th, 2010. To Wally, Peg, and Lee, from Michael Lyons. Another resignation letter, believe it or not. Yesterday afternoon, a parent approached me in the parking lot screaming, what gives you the right to give my little girl that book? He was talking about my book, Omix Blood. In short, he's furious with me. He thinks I'm inciting hatred between Indians and Christians and will be going to the school board. He's not the only one who is all bent out of shape about my working here. I thought about writing up a defense of my book, but frankly, I really don't care what people think of it. I didn't write it to elicit a response from Christians or anyone. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not interested in changing anyone's opinion on anything. What is clear to me is this. My non-Christian, unpatriotic views are not welcome in this community. If so many parents think my stupid little cartoons are so dangerous, I have to honor their wishes and leave their children alone. I've already been instructed to stay away from the elementary. It's obvious that most of the teachers are not interested in my efforts to, to teach Ojibwe language and history or my, my work with music and theater in the school. The feedback I've received since joining the WHA community has been overwhelmingly negative. I have my thoughts about this, but again, I don't think anybody wants to hear about it. So now I'd like to bow out without causing any more hassle for you terrific people. I'd like to meet to discuss the terms of our divorce. Just kidding. If you'd like me to leave right away, I will. I'd also be open to staying longer until a replacement is found. I guess what I'm saying is, you're off the hook as far as having to defend me to the public. I've already started looking for another job. Call me the American nightmare. Call me the American dream. Russell Brand is on the Howard Stern Show and they're discussing transcendental meditation. Howard tells a story about how meditation was directly responsible for curing his mother's depression. There's something so practical and nonsensical in the way they talk about it that I look up transcendental meditation on YouTube and try it for myself. Time shy ga. Two months pass and I'm sitting twice a day for 20 minutes at a time. I find Natasha on Facebook. She hasn't aged a day. There's a darling little girl in the photo with her, and it looks like they're at a public school, public pool. That must be her daughter. Her daughter. She has a whole new life now. She probably doesn't even remember me. I feel lonelier than I've ever been before. I'm depressed again. Oh God, please, no. I can't do it again, please. Something happens. One night, I can't stop crying. The next morning, I wake up at my usual 4.30 a.m., have coffee, a cigarette, and a bowl, and I write this in my journal. Saturday, February 26th. 2011. 
dear real Michael, source, unified consciousness, whatever you want to call yourself. I'm really struggling to do the right thing for myself and for the rest of the world. If you have any ability to help me, I'd really appreciate a hand. If I'm on the right path, let me know. I really can't tell. Please help me. I'm willing to drop everything now. Show me how to live and I'll do it. What else can I say? I woke up pretty happy, I guess. This is a beautiful song. Guess I'll meditate now. Sincerely, Michael. I turn the page over and begin writing what is to become a condition of depression. It's the best comic book I've ever done. It takes a fraction of the time to complete. You may be familiar with the term self-fulfilling prophecy. Sure, but only when, it, when referring to the bad stuff. I mean, it's easy to create bad stuff for ourselves. Uh, why is it so hard to do the opposite? Probably because you didn't realize how much, how you are thinking and what you are thinking about. If we can become aware of our thoughts, we can control them to improve our situation. So ask yourself, what are your usual thoughts? Every page is a series of happy accidents and I'm bewildered by how perfectly it works out, works for what I'm trying to do. I have a lock. This has to be the result of meditating. Something has changed in my life.